What's up, everybody? It is Roche Boy, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Hi, you guys. And as everybody know, I stay rolling my eyes. So, as you guys can see, well, you probably can't tell yet, but I have finished my hair. I stayed up. I pretty much was doing my hair all day Friday. I started Thursday. Then I was doing my hair all day Friday, all day yesterday, and now today. I have nothing to do. I of course started it off with three strand braiding it and then I stopped where my hair stops as y'all can see I do have very very short hair and what I did was some of the braids my hair is really not this short but when it gets to the middle part I had to braid it all the way to where my hair stops which most likely is probably down here for some of my braids I'm not gonna be one of those liars that say yeah my hair is all the way down here so no he ain't well I don't know what y'all got, but I know for me, um, for the most part, I had to stop probably like down there for most of my braids and just two strand twist the rest of it. I feel like it's going to be easier to take out and um, because all you have to do is unravel it and then that's it. And then you can just take whatever rat tooth comb to kind of get off the three strand part. But I had already dipped my hair and I put this moisturizer on it. I sprayed it with this. I dipped my hair. I sprayed it with this. Okay. Fantasia IC Herbal Vitamin Braid Sheen Spray. And I put this Fantasia IC Pure Tea Silk Gel Moisturizer Activator on it. And it's um, hair and scalp conditioner. You don't have to rinse this out, by the way. But yeah. Some people can't take the smell of this. But, um... It smells good to me, and my mom has been using it on my sister and I's hair. My sisters and me, we've been getting this used on our hair when we was little. So, I'm glad they didn't change the smell of it, though, because it smells very good. It smells very good. I was going to use this, too, but I don't want too many smells mixed up because... This smells good, and the icy smells good, but I don't want to mix any smells in case I reach in and hug somebody, and I think the smells is too rich, and it may go straight to their head, and they get a headache, or their stomach, and they get nauseous. So, I'm only going to use, I just use these at a time, like the ICs, that's it. And maybe when I wash it again, and let it air dry, then I'll put some of this on it, and then that's it. What I need is a nice hair grease. So I may go get some blue magic one day and just make sure my scalp is greased and moisturized. And um, I not only put some on my fingertips to kind of like rub the moisture and the grease and this stuff on my scalp, but whatever's left on my hands, I take it and rub it down on the braid so this part can smell like it too. I make sure this part gets taken care of. My scalp gets taken care of the most. Because, you know, I don't want to just dip this part and have this part smelling good and this part stink. The whole head is going to stink. You got to take care of the root. Okay? And then all the way down to the tip. So, yeah. So, this is how my hair looks after it's been dipped. It's getting dry already. <laughs> but, yeah, that's how it looks can't really tell because it's colorful hair but of course if it was all just a natural hair color it would look so much better because you'll be able to tell that it's dipped um i did use roster free jet roster free braiding hair which is the color of the 1b and dark red um and i used a little bit of the expressions that you guys can see like a couple of dark tips at the bottom where i kind of was running out of the red hair so I had to use the brown expressions hair that I have left. And yeah, y'all, my hair is finished. My stomach is growling, but I'm afraid to eat breakfast because I'm not going to finish it. Um, I started my cycle yesterday. Well, actually, the, today is officially the first day. But I'm glad I'm starting today because I go back to work tomorrow. And even though my Mondays are very easy, no students are there, I still don't want to be dealing with cramps. So I'm going to have to take whatever medicine I have left around here and deal with it. So um, I'm probably going to be laying down, chilling all day today. 
I got out the shower and then I dipped my hair and after that that was it I almost forgot I finished my hair because I was thinking oh, I gotta get up early and finish my hair so I had Siri set my timer for 5 a.m. this morning because I was gonna get up and do my hair but see I stayed up almost to one o'clock in the morning and I'm like, mm, I can't do that because I'm going to be super tired. And I think if I'm not mistaken, somewhere in the Bible, it says it's not good to stay up late and get up early. So, and since I have to go back to work tomorrow, luckily my schedule was changed. So I don't have to wake up at no three just to be at work before five or nothing like that. You know, I got my schedule changed due to safety stuff. But yeah, y'all, this is my hair. I am working on growing my edges back, so please don't look too close and judge me. That's my hair. It's still a bit tight. I got to work on how I do my hair in the middle because this could look like new growth, but it's not. So I was determined to make sure my hair get finished yesterday because I don't want to be doing nothing on my Sunday. But overall, I wanted my hair to be finished before I go to work. Before I go back to work, it's been a lovely spring break. Um, it went by super fast. Um, I was watching WrestleMania yesterday. Um, I saw a little bit of the induction ceremony, but I didn't see the rest of it. But um, it was pretty good, and I enjoyed the induction ceremony and WrestleMania on Saturday night. And then tonight, I'm gonna look at the other half of it, and. I may look at it all over again tonight because, I mean, I may look at the other, the first half of WrestleMania again today because I missed it. I came in on the match that Rey Mysterio and Escobar, I came in on that match after my bath. I'm thinking, oh, the kickoff is going to come. They did the kickoff on Friday. Right after the induction ceremony, they did the kickoff. So the kickoff already happened for WrestleMania. And Saturday, which was last night, they did the first half. And then tonight, they're going to do the other half. And I am looking forward to, to well, actually, all the matches were good yesterday. And I think Damage Control kind of got what they deserve, punks. Anyway, um, trying to see if Becky Lynch going to fight tonight. I don't know who's on the card actually but i am looking forward to seeing the tribal chief versus the american nightmare cody rhodes but i'm not gonna ruin it for y'all go watch it go watch wrestlemania saturday night go see what happened saturday for those wrestling fans out there go see what happened you're gonna be like whatever anyway the point is you have your own reaction but I just can't wait to see the other half tonight. I, I don't know if my sister still wants to go hang out today. But depending on how I feel, I may have to take a rain check. Um, Dang, I already got to go to work tomorrow. I got to remember to bring my work jacket to work tomorrow. Um, And I also got to remember to bring my other sweater. Yeah, I'm going to start taking my work jacket home with me every week because I washed it um, when I came back. Y'all, from last weekend, from the whole week I had off all the way to this weekend, it's been a wonderful spring break. I would have to say that. Um, I wish I would have got just a little bit more rest. I didn't do any painting. I was, but then I put it up because I wanted to work on my hair because I can't do the wigs. I had, to, I had it. To, I had, I had it. I had to braid my hair back, especially since it's been cold on and off. I want to make sure that my natural hair stays protected from the cold weather because I don't think it's good for mostly black women to be wearing their hair out in cold weather. I heard that that's not good for our hair and to put it in a protective style. Sometimes people feel like braids are not a protective style because it's tension against the edges. But if you ain't got no edges like me, you ain't got nothing to worry about. But um, I'm not trying to have my hair start back here, though. So I do want to be careful. And I think what I may do in the future is do knotless braids around the perimeter. So I don't lose whatever edges I have left. Even though I don't braid this. 
I don't try to comb it and make it into a braid. I don't, I don't have anything. Okay, I have to use black edge control as a filler, but I make it work. Okay. And I'm not that type of person that's like, oh, I'm not going to tell my secrets and how I do. No, I'm very open on my channel. Um, there's a lot of people that would keep their stuff private. And you don't have to tell everybody everything. I get it. But for me on this channel, if somebody wants to know, I don't have any edges. So how do I make it look? My edges look full. Let me show you what I use. I use this to lay the edges down first. Okay. I use this. And this is a very thick edge control hair gel. Olive oil organic root stimulator let me open it and show y'all as you can see i've been digging into it the most but i only use it for the edges i don't really use it as a gel and put it on the whole head now now that i got braids this will last me a little bit longer until i get paid and buy another one it smells it smells Amaze balls, and this is the name of it. And you can get it at your local beauty supply. You can get it at your local beauty supply place today. Um, so I lay my edges, whatever I have, my peach fuzz. I lay it down with this first. Then, of course, I take an edge brush to do that. Then, let me see where it's at. Come on, y'all. I used to use this to lay it down, but I don't think I have too much more of this. This is the Miel Edge Control. Um, I pretty much used all of this already. Let me see if I have any more in there that I may want to scrape out and use. No, there's barely nothing in there, so I'm not going to keep it in my hair basket. I'm going to throw it away. Hold on. I'm trying to find something, but I can't find it. It's a small little... It is a sample size of black edge control. My mom gave me two of them, but I used one of them up already. I'm trying to find it. Oh, I got cramps, and they ain't giving me a break, no. Oh. I sure had to give me some of this, y'all, because the beauty supply place close by where I live don't have none of this on the shelf. I got this because at the time, before I got braids, I needed some gel that gets a little firm because... Since I'm going natural and my hair is still short, um, you can see little curly things sticking up. And since they don't have any got to be glued spray, the yellow can, I have to use what I have. Plus, I have to start tying my um, pony slick ponytails down when I do that. I am looking for something. Now, all of a sudden, I can't find it. That is so crazy. I also got some of this gel, too. I'm just swamped with gel, which I love because I love gel. And I want to make sure I get some good gels for this hair because this hair be nappy. Nappy, slappy, clappy. I got so many headbands for my headband wig. It's not even cute and funny and fine and all right. Well, all right. So... Put all this back. WrestleMania was good yesterday, y'all. I would recommend going to go see the first half. Of course, you all already know how to watch TV, so I don't need to tell y'all. But I enjoyed WrestleMania yesterday. Some matches kind of made me like, you motherfucker. But, you know, you'll get over it. And you'll realize that sometimes certain matches are not going to happen or not going to end or... People may turn on each other, surprisingly. They said that a lot of times it's good to watch WWE's 
main events and pay-per-views and stuff because surprises happen, especially at Royal Rumble and Survivor Series and WrestleMania. You never know who's going to turn on who and you never know who's going to turn face or turn heel and all that other stuff. So, and it's like, what? And it sets a whole nother turn of events. And then next thing you know, the person that betrayed this person, they got a feud and then the next person pay-per-view they gonna be fighting and you never know so like oh i'm not gonna give it away never mind but i'm trying to find it's a little black edge control pretty much that i have i think it's ebn i think little black black edge control that i use as a filler for all this part right here and all that part right there see and i put the black edge control and whatever hair i have left and i make it into some edges so that's what i was trying to find for y'all i also have this which i'm not going to reuse too much of it so i may put it in a bathroom cabinet underneath and i also don't use this as much then after i put that black edge control on i swoop the edges along with the this that i already have on it and then i seal it with this this right here this black got to be good glued well good it's clear it's clear that's kind of messy but i just want to show y'all see it's clear it comes out clear and i just put it on be careful because it turns white so what i do is when i have this on first to lay it down so it can kind of slick then i put the little black edge control on i want to show y'all what it's called but i can't freaking find it but i do have to find it for tomorrow because i'm gonna use it but, um, I guess as I clean up, I'll probably run into it. But, yeah, I use that, and then I use the got to be glued over it so it will stay, and the little curly things don't pop up. And then I start messing with them, and then next thing you know, I feel like, I want to perm, and I don't want to do that. Like, I've been working so hard to go to, to transition into natural without perms. That's why I've been wearing braids so much to keep me from going back to perms. Knowing that perms ain't good for anybody's hair, um, especially as often often as I used to put them in. I used to put them in every month. And then if I once I feel like the nappy kinks are coming back, I would hurry up and put some more gel just around the edges. And yeah, it's a lot of things that I've done as to the reason why I don't have any edges. So that I'm not blaming on anybody. Um, it's not alopecia. It's just I have not been taking care of my hair. That's basically what it all boils down to so but um you live and you learn and you realize once you're bald-headed you should have took care of your hair so nobody's fault but mine okay so that's that on that but let me find this edge control because i'm gonna need it for tomorrow like i said Yeah, I got this purse from this store at the mall called 369. It was $199. Ain't that cute? And I have my ID and my debit card and throw some mints and my chapstick and breath mints in here. And then I'm good to go. And I usually wear it like this. So if I go to Universal Studios or whatever, I don't have to carry a big bulky purse. So I'm thinking about going back and getting me another one. Let me see where that edge control went. I'm going to dump out my hair basket one more time. But anyway, you can get either Cream of Nature's brown edge control or any kind of black edge control. They have edge control that is black, especially for filling in. It's called edge control fillers, which means it fills in edges you don't have. And I, my thing is, my mistake is I keep putting too much. I keep on putting too much and it makes me look funny right here. Like... Obviously, those are not your edges, so I'm, I'm going to try to work on making it look more natural, but I'm going to leave these out because tomorrow I'm going to be using them. Let me look through here one more time. It's like a little sample size of edge control. That's black. My mom gave me two of them. Let me see if they're they under here somewhere. No, it's not. I thought I had it on a dresser. Oh, but yeah, I'm so happy my braids is done. I don't know what to do. I feel like I want to go, go outside and 
just just to show them off. I like doing that, but eh, I don't need to do all that. It's not important. Here it is. It was hiding under one of my little little hat things. But this is it right here. It is not EBN. Oh yeah, it is EBN. E B I N. Oh, it is a 24 hour edge tamer colored. See, it looks like a sample size. Now, usually when I used to go to the hair pavilion in Long Beach, they used to give us stuff like this for free. You know, edge controls that's this size. Um, I don't know where my mom got this from. This is jet black and the color jet black. Um, it's a 24 hour. They have 48 hour one too, I believe. But this stuff, a little bit is all I need. Just a little bit. I used to cake it on and it used to look weird because you can see like the smudge of the black all right here <laughs> instead of just on my hair. But um, let me show y'all just in case. I need my good edge brush. It needs to be combed out, but that's okay. I'm going to use it for this video. So what I usually do is for the black edge control, if y'all can see me. Can y'all see me, Kimi? I may have to put y'all off right here. Because I need this mirror. Um, Now, close up, my edges look like it's very thin, as y'all can see, because all the stuff I've been doing to it, it hasn't been healthy. You can actually see where my hair used to start. But from far away, I ain't got no edges. So it looks bald, but it's fine little bitty pieces of hair everywhere. So that's why people always say knotless, knotless braids are better because you're not putting too much tension on your head. You ain't. No, you ain't. So I'm going to use, oh, I'm running out. I'm going to have to go get me some more. I use like about that much and I put it on both fingers. I'm just kind of feeling the parts that... You see what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys can see that. But you see the parts that's bald? See? I kind of make it just happen. You know? Now my hair is very thin anyway. And short, so... I try not to do go so heavy-handed. Both-handed. I just dot the rest of it on here. And I just kind of smooth it over with my hands. Now when I put the when I put the got to be glued black, I mean when I put the clear got got bleh, I can't talk. When I put the clear gel of got to be glued on, it kind of wipes away some of the black and it's gonna give it a natural look anyway. But you can see how full almost my edges look like close up. You know, but of course, you're gonna have to like smooth it out or just a little bit more to give it more of a natural looking look. See, I don't know if you guys saw how my edges look from far away before, but when I put that little bit black edge control stuff on it, it made it a little full and it kind of looks like I got edges, right? So that's what I do. But they do have edge control, especially for fillers. That's why. Some of the edge control is black. Some of the edge control is blonde. I mean, excuse me, brown, because it's to fill in edges that people don't have. And I'm glad they have stuff like that because I was so ashamed of the things that I know I've been doing to my hair as to the reason why I ain't got now. So I'm not, I don't ever do things like blame it on anybody or try to say, well, it's alopecia. No, it's not. It's me not taking care of my hair, so I'm bald headed. I'm not even going to blame, I'm not even going to say it's alopecia when there's people out there that's really going through that. So I don't want to just say that if I'm not going through it. I know what it is. The problem was me. So um, I'm going to make sure I don't got too many hair bands out because it's going to be a mess. I'm going to leave these out because I need to start getting my stuff ready for work. Get my clothes and stuff ready. Especially if I'm going to lay around today. I may and may not put my nails on. I may wait to the weekend that's coming. My friend said he was supposed to be on this side of town. That's what, at least what he said. But that's the 
second time he said that and I have not seen him. He didn't even say, hey, I'm here. You want to stop by and see me or can I come pick you up and we can like see each other for a little bit? He didn't say none of that. But that's okay. Whatever. But anyway. So yeah, my braids are finished. It was almost heck getting these things into my little bonnet. Because I was like, what the heck? Get inside. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get my stuff ready for work while I'm up. And then after that, <sighs> take my liquid vitamins and I'm going to chill out for the rest of the day until WrestleMania comes on. Um, yeah, I'm going to pop that popcorn and then just watch it later on today. But yeah, that's all you guys. That's all I have. Just wanted to come on here and show y'all my braids and how they're done and this is my first time doing this color red i've done red before but it was more of like the burgundy side i think it was more bm i think this is 99j or i don't know the point is it said dark red on the pack so it's red it's what it is i've always wanted to do red braids i told myself i was going to do red braids closer in the summer but um oh well i did them early so i should keep these braids in at least for a couple months and just redo them keep redoing them keep redoing them even if I change them all to black, different color, each braid is going to get done one at a time. And I think I may keep the two strand twist thing going because it is easier to take out as much of them as it is. It's going to be easier to take out than actual um, three strand twisting them all the way down. All I have to do is just kind of take two of the strands and just go shoot and it'll just unravel. like And then I just take a little rat tooth comb and then just pick out... The part that's three strand braided. See? So, yeah. That's it, you guys. I hope everybody is having a wonderful Sunday morning. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend so far. Um, I just thank God for his grace and mercy right now. I thank him for another day. I do thank you, Lord, for another day. I do. You know, I don't want to take advantage of the simple fact that your grace and your mercy is new every single morning. I should be doing something more with it, you know. So, yeah, you guys, homework is all done. I'm probably going to pass this course with the B, but that's okay. I saw A- minus for a very short time because I got an 80 out of 80 on my main assignment. I took that quiz, didn't do too good on the quiz. I got 11 out of 15 questions right, missed four. So I got a 22 out of 30, which brought my grade back down to a B plus. So I went from an A minus back to a B plus. So at least I saw an A. I haven't seen an A in almost two months, but that's okay. Um, Anyway, you guys, have a lovely rest of your Sunday. If I end up coming back later on, um... I'll just say hi or something. Oh, yeah. I want to mention this real quick. It was just snowing Thursday. Just a little bit. And now look. All nice and sunny. And Can y'all see? Can y'all see outside? Okay. Can y'all see that? Now it's all nice and sunny, which I'm not mad. It's like, come on in, summer. Let's just forget about spring. Okay? I'm, I'm a spring baby. I was born in the spring. But summer is my favorite season. And I just hope we have a nice, hot, miserable summer. Long summer. And I say that. Not miserable, but I need summer to really summer. I'm going to need no rain or cold air or wind to be all up in my summer. Because it seemed like winter was a bit late. And winter wants to sleep seep in into the spring. Do whatever you want to do, winter. In the spring, but come summer, so no. Yeah, well, that's it, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. I've been before y'all long enough talking crap. I gotta drink this, by the way, and stop babysitting it. Can you see my eye? Drink it. Anyway, y'all have a good day.